ladies and gentlemen. This is the Yogi Kudu. He has been studying the discipline of yoga for the past 43 years. He stands six feet tall and weighs 183 pounds. He will attempt to squeeze his entire frame into this box. It measures 15.7 by 16.9 by 20.9 inches. Let me show you how small that is. This is a five gallon water bottle. Take a look. Now once inside the box, the yogi will be submerged underwater. Guinness judges are gonna be timing both how long the yogi will be in the box and underwater for a new Guinness record. You ready? The yogi has requested everyone in our studio be as quiet as possible while he prepares himself. In order to fit his six foot, 183 pound body into the box, the yogi needs incredible flexibility and concentration. To prepare himself, the yogi is putting himself into a meditative state called samadhi. And that's a meditative technique that allows him to slow his heartbeat down to 32 beats a minute. The yogi grew up on the French island of Guadeloupe. He speaks very little English. It was there that he learned the Sumati meditations. Right now, he's ready to enter the box. Necessary to do this is seemingly impossible to achieve. I remind you the yogi is six feet tall. The box is 20 inches high. If the yogi doesn't slow his heart rate and breathing sufficiently before he enters the box, he could run out of oxygen once the box is sealed. Again, I caution you, do not try this at home. Right now, as the yogi's about to fully enter the box, he's touching his forehead to reopen what he calls the chakra. He told me that this is the moment when he, he leaves his physical body. He claims to be outside it, above it. Remember, we're seeing the six-foot man get inside this tiny box of 20 inches. This is truly remarkable. He's almost completely inside. This is a stunning sight. The yogi's in a fetal position, which he has to maintain for the next six or seven minutes. Once he's completely inside, I remind you, as if this weren't enough, the box will be completely submerged in water. He 
He says that the cooler the water, the more his pores will close. That allows him to save his energy. The fish you see swimming inside the box are there to illustrate that there is no trick to what you are seeing. The water, the tank, it's all real. This is no illusion. As you can see, the yogi has now been inside the box for three minutes and 25 seconds. That's five minutes now that the yogi's been in the box. Once again, what you're looking at is absolutely real and incredibly dangerous. The yogi has no hidden oxygen supply. His meditation and concentration are all he's relying on to keep him alive. His son Wilmoth is the only one who knows how long his father can be in the water. He just has asked for the yogi to be removed now. The yogi's been underwater for almost five minutes now, and he's coming up on six minutes inside of that box. This is unbelievable. is now unlatching the box. I remind you, the yogi is six feet tall and 183 pounds. I can't help but think that he'd suffocate or cramp up during this time. He's emerging. There is almost a surreal atmosphere in the studio right now. His left arm is completely out. The yogi tells us that at the moment he re-enters his body, there's a moment of shock. He says that's because the conscious mind makes the body aware of his surroundings. Yogi is experiencing that shock that makes him shake. It's a cold sensation of reality. The total time in the box, six minutes and five seconds. The box was submerged in the water for four minutes and 49 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Yogi Kubu. Wow. Now that is truly amazing.